Talk Trade. Todd Horowitz with us. Most every Tuesday, I believe, it's pretty regular now. You're, you're a regular uh, here on the show, and we appreciate that. No, good to have you here, Todd. Uh, big day in the grain trade here today. Talk about some of the factors. Well, they're going higher. You know, Mark, <laughs> I, you, you know, we look at it over and over again, and we, we continue to try to remind everybody that more importantly is, is the technical aspects of the markets. And, and when markets find a level that they can no longer either go up or down, and in this most recent case, it's lower, that most likely the path of least resistance would be higher. And that's basically what we looked for all the way along. We kept saying that, you know, let's look for these levels because, again, there's been a lot of pressure and a lot of reasons that prices could have gone lower. And if you buy into all the crap fundamentals, excuse me, but if you buy into all that stuff, then it really doesn't pay out because eventually the commercials and the tape and the traders are ahead of everything and they kind of pre-read that into the market. So prices are kind of built in to the market. So yeah. we saw that all happening. So now we're getting a nice little rally. And, 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 and interestingly enough, soybeans are really breaking out here. This could get really interesting now if they can continue to go from here. They just broke out of a key level here and they're now above and look like they have another 20 or 30 or 40 cents to run. Yeah, I was going to ask that. We have that up on the screen here now, 9, 12 and a half, uh, the high. We're right there right now as we sit here going to the top of the hour, 24, nearly 25 cents higher. So uh, what's the next level that we would watch? I think you can look for possibly 950 to 960 now. Again, they're they're breaking out. If you take a look at a chart, you know, I don't know if you have one up on the screen, but if you take a look at a chart, you can see they were really consolidating. And we kept saying every time they come back to 960, we want to look to be a buyer. And every time they get up around the $9 level, you know, we're not going to sell, get short, but maybe we'd look to take some profit. And now finally, you're getting that breakout because you see a pattern that's just like this, which is really what they call a consolidation pattern where buyers and sellers, nobody knows what they're doing. They're trying to figure it out and yeah. they keep changing direction. And finally, we got the breakout to the upside, which is what we expected. So if you're a producer looking at corn or soybeans, you're in the field, you're tuning in on Sirius XM, a 147, what's Todd Horwood say to do with the crop that you're harvesting right now? Well, I think you want to, you know, if, you, if you're afraid or you want to take some off the table, you can certainly sell some. But I think you want to let these go. I, I believe there's still substantially room on the upside. I think we, you know, corn hasn't broken out yet. It keeps stalling at four bucks. I think you're going to see higher prices. I think that when the economy starts to turn around and when we start to see some better, better times, I think you'll see a bigger, higher prices. Now, again, it doesn't mean we're not going to churn and see some pullback to the downside. Mm -hmm. So if you're concerned, you can certainly sell some. I we just make sure you held something in reserve or at least hedged off and locked in these prices because you can lock in your prices about right here so at least you know that they can't go lower but you can participate in the upside because I do believe we've got room to go on the upside. I think across the board, wheat, soybeans, and corn are all going higher from here. And real quick before we do take a break here, the wheat trade, you mentioned wheat, strong today as well, double digits here, and now $5 is along in the rear view mirror. And I think that's what you look for. I think you look for in, in wheat, I think you look for about 530, 531. That was the high we made a couple of weeks ago. I think that would be an area that I would not, again, I would, I'm not shorting any of these at all. I'm only looking for spots to buy. At 530, I'd look to maybe lighten up, maybe sell some. But again, I do believe that these will indeed break out as well and go higher. Very good. Todd Horwitz will take a break. That's 530 there. December right now, 521, 520 a bushel, 13 cents higher. Take a break, come back and check the livestock trade. Not as friendly there of late. We'll see if anything has changed in one minute.